All right, guys, welcome back to the podcast, the video blog. This is Franco with Simple Freedom Club. So what I wanted to do, let me get rid of this window for you guys on the live stream. Let me, uh, we're broadcasting all over the place right now. So what I wanted to do is I put this up on my blog earlier, uh, and I want to give you an audio video version of the exact same content. So it's called the... Uh, House Arrest Lockdown Survival Guide, and it's put out by the guys over at Peak Prosperity. I've linked to it at the bottom of this blog post. You see the full link, so you can get right on over to their website at Peak Prosperity and uh, get that, and as well as uh, opt into their email list. They provide a lot of helpful information, so let's get right into it. Home, China Virus, House Arrest, Lockdown Survival Guide. The world is on house arrest. Here's how to survive it and not go crazy. Lockdowns, lockdowns are rippling across the world this week with an accelerating number of cities, counties, and entire countries issuing mandatory shelter-in-place orders. Whether you saw this coming or not, and way too many didn't, here we all are. Stuck at home for how long? We don't know yet. A few weeks? A month? Two months? It all depends on the degree and intensity of the spread of the China virus in our own communities. Local mileage will vary, so how are you going to make it through this prolonged period of house arrest without getting sick, going broke, or being driven crazy? As the folks who've been updating you daily since January on the unfolding coronavirus China virus outbreak, here's our definitive home lockdown survival guide. We've written this to be a comprehensive collection of the resources you need to stay safe, sane, and solvent through the China virus crisis. And it's a great tool for getting everyone in your household on the same page. Print it out and have them read it. In it, we cover these key essentials. And again, let me tell you where to get this. Go to simplefreedom.com. Simplefreedom.com is the training blog, my personal platform where I put all my content, the only place that I cannot be censored, deleted, terminated, shut down, uh, shut the hell up and all that other stuff that every other leftist is trying to do to me. I've had two YouTube channels, big giant YouTube channels shut down on me. I'm on the third one now, got a couple of backups. So I'm not new to the game. But uh, that is the one place having your own self-hosted website or WordPress blog on your own hosting, your own domain, that is the best way to keep your content. So even though you see my content at the podcast at simplefreedompodcast.com, even though you see it at the YouTube channel, simplefreedom.info, and uh, even though you see it all over Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of that content gets consolidated on my own platform at simplefreedom.com. So that's where you can find it. And it is, it is, if you're seeing the recording, this was on March 21st, 2020. Title of the blog post was Home China Virus House Lockdown Survival Guide. All right. The Home China Virus House Arrest Lockdown Survival Guide. Emotionally healthy staying financially solvent, getting on board the lockdown train. Let me talk a little bit about the staying financially solvent thing. There's no excuses here, guys. Go to simplefreedomcash.com. Register your free membership account inside of the Simple Freedom Club, and we got your back there. We cover your six. We teach you skill sets. We give you tools that simplify, automate, and leverage the way you can generate your own cash flow from home, anywhere you are right now on house arrest, it's one of the only things you can do uh, easily to create cash flow for yourself. So that you can go to simplefreedomcash.com. Create a free account inside the Simple Freedom Club. All right. So anyway, getting on board the lockdown train. Before we get to the tactical recommendations, mentally buying into the rationale for staying at home will be key to your overall success. Whether you agree or not, or kind of conspiracy theory or this or that you got going on, that's fine, that's great. But hey, here we are. Yes, lockdowns are extremely inconvenient at best. They require real sacrifice. For many, like those losing their source of income during the shutdown, the sacrifice may be more than you were prepared to make. 
There's no way to sugarcoat the pain of this sacrifice, but understanding the larger context for it helps greatly with bearing its burden. These lockdowns are happening to protect you and your loved ones, as well as to save the lives of many people you'll never meet. We can argue later on whether our leaders could have taken smarter action earlier. They uh, sure could have, in my opinion. That's what they're saying at peak prosperity. I've got a couple of other scenarios about that, but there's no doubt that what's needed most right now is social distancing on a massive scale. That's what they're prescribing. Here's the math explaining why. Don't worry, I'll keep this really, really simple to understand. This is, and for those of you watching the video, I'm going to put the image up here a little bit, a little bit on the center. This is the equation that epidemiologists use to calculate the exponential spread of a virus like China virus, COVID-19. Yes, it looks complicated, but hang with me. Check this out. Let's break it down. This is the equation that uh, they use. E equals the average number of people an infected person comes into contact with each day. That's E. P equals the probability of each person-to-person -person exposure resulting in an infection. And D equals the number of infected people on a given day. Here's all you need to know about this equation. The only factor we have direct control over at this point is E, the average number of people an infected person comes into contact with each day. That's the only thing. We can control how many person-to-person -person exposures happen. That's the entire goal of a lockdown, to drive that variable as close to zero as possible. So that's each of our shared mission right now at this important moment in history to do our part to minimize person-to-person -person contact. That's how we will collectively thwart this honey badger of a virus. And here's why this is so important. Of course, none of us wants to get sick, nor do we want our family members to get sick either. But China virus, its greater danger to society is its ability to overwhelm our health care system, which it is currently doing in China, Italy, and Iran, and is projected to do in many other countries, including the United States. At current calculations, there are only a small fraction of the beds, respirators, medications, doctors, and nurses needed to care for the millions of seriously ill patients expected within the next 60 days. Drowning under that volume, not only can our health care system not adequately care for those sick with the China virus, it won't be able to care for any and all other issues as well. Having a baby? Break your leg? Need cancer treatment? There very well may not be a doctor or nurse available to see you. And the last place you want to go is a hospital, as they'll have become China virus COVID-19 breeding grounds by that point. If you've not heard of the flatten the curve movement, that's what these lockdowns are all about. And if you're on the blog, guys, I've linked over to that flatten the curve movement uh, link. It's right there on the blog at simplefreedom.com. So it goes over a little image there, but let's break it down. By slowing the spike in infections, lockdowns reduce the crushing wave of sick arriving at our hospitals and clinics and give our healthcare workers a fighting chance to keep things working. Just as World War II called on the masses to support the war effort by foregoing staples, donating time and funds, and planting victory gardens, this is our generation's great call to service, so they say at peak prosperity. Keeping that context in mind, that your sacrifice is for the greater good of both your immediate family as well as the global community, will help make home confinement feel less like a personal punishment from the universe. Karma, baby. Karma smacking somebody. Is your home stocked for success? Now that you've got the right mindset in place, let's look at the best supplies and resources to have on hand during your lockdown. Of course, the best time to acquire these was weeks ago when we issued our alert, and I linked to that, to stock up back on January 23rd. But don't despair if you're just getting started now. There's still opportunity to get your hands on many of the recommended items below, either via local sources, online delivery, or from generous folks in your neighborhood. Get what you can and make the best of it. Focus on the basics. Here's a list of them. A deep food pantry should access to the grocery store get cut off. 
PPE, this is private or personal protective equipment, PPE, and cleaning supplies to prevent China virus infection. Medicine, first aid supplies, should you need to self-treat any health condition, guys. And backup emergency preparations should utilities become unavailable for a prolonged period. Nobody's talking about that yet, but it could very well be reality. We published numerous articles, podcasts, and videos on peakprosperity.com over the past two months covering these topics. Below are links to help you get up to speed fast if you don't already have sufficient preps in place. Let's talk about food. At this stage, many grocery stores have had their shelves picked bare by panicked customers. But the lockdowns should diminish the surge and give stores a chance to restock somewhat especially on bulk staples. As you're able, get groceries daily if you can, buying extra on each trip to increase your home food stores. The goal should be to get at least two weeks of supply for everyone in your household working your way up to a month's supply or more. For guidance on what to get, how much to get, and how to store it, here are two excellent free resources and i've linked to both of them on the blog post here guys peak prosperity's home food storage wiki and peak prosperity's deep pantry mega thread you may find that stores soon start limiting the amount that you're allowed to buy of certain items and sure enough um my uh, phone charger cable uh broke yesterday so i had to go get one i went to our local stores called albertson's right it's like a kroger little grocery store and I went in there, and sure enough, when you get to the cash register now, they have they have signs right there saying, hey, look, because of what's going on, if you're buying the following products, you can only get two of each. And in there was like eggs and milk and bread and this and that, and toilet paper and whatever. But they're starting to ration out, not allowing people to hoard. And that's going to help everybody. All right, so anyway, I've seen that firsthand. Anyway, it says, uh, you may find that stores soon start limiting the amount that you're allowed to buy of certain items. That's okay. Just buy what you can, when you can, being sure not to take an unfair share. Bro, don't be a hoarder, man. You mess it up for other people. So now let's talk about personal protective equipment, sanitizers, and cleaning supplies. PPE is what you wear to prevent from getting China virus particles from getting in your body. This is what you should wear anytime you need to leave your house for anywhere you suspect infected people could be, like a spacesuit, guys. These include masks, gloves, eye protection, and gowns or coveralls. Can you imagine? I'm going to be a full hazmat walking around. Like the news, the fake media was out walking around. They, they were on camera supposedly doing a, a live update of all the panic and the hysteria and the end of the world, right? China virus. And the reporter his lame ass was in full hazmat gear. Did you see that picture? This happens all the time with stupid CNN and all the fake news outlets. And then the cameraman, they, they never think that there's a real human with a freaking phone capturing their bullshit, right? The cameraman was in like regular clothes, jeans, t-shirt, little jacket, whatever. But the reporter was like on a flight mission to Mars, full hazmat. And these ridiculous media people, man. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're doing worse than, than good right now to, to drum up the hip, but if it bleeds, it leads. All right, let's get back on point. This is what you should wear anytime you leave your house for anywhere you suspect infected people could be. These include masks, gloves, eye protection, gowns, coveralls. Sadly, supplies for most of these have long since sold out and most of them have to come from China, <laughs> right? So they're stuck, they're stuck on a boat somewhere or swimming in the China virus. Even medical staff are experiencing an acute shortage. Similarly, many alcohol-based sanitizers are now hard to find. But vodka isn't, so get some big-ass bottles of Tito's vodka. I'm telling you, man, that's me, not them. I'm just letting you know. But bleach and other cleaning supplies are still available. And you never know. You may be able to locate some of the more out-of-stock PPE from local sources or friends who have extra. You're going to really find out who's your friends these days, guys. Oh, man, let me tell you. So it's definitely worth the effort to look and ask around. Good resources for what to stock up on, what to stock up on are Peak Prosperity Sanitation and PPE Mega Thread, 
Peak Prosperity's podcast with James Rawls, Practical China Virus Preparation. And the other link I have here, how we're personally preparing against the China virus. And that requires a PP.com subscription. Peak Prosperity, if you give them your email and opt into their email list, they'll give you a lot of free access to their website and articles. Some stuff is for subscribers only, i.e. income stream. A very smart way to do content marketing and content income generation. That's how we do it too with the club, guys. Medicine, first aid, as mentioned above, you want to avoid going to the hospitals as it fills up with serious China virus cases. Your doctor may not even be available to see you. And let me tell you, they're, they're going to be working 24-7, and they are not going to be able to see you unless you are triaged as critical. They're going to be triaging, meaning putting people in uh, order of priority uh, on the severity of the cases or their problems, their signs and symptoms, okay? So, and plus guys, the last place you want to be, even when there's a regular flu outbreak or the common cold or anything is in the damn hospital emergency room. They're just going to tell you to sit down for hours anyway. And then you, not only do you go in with what you have and spread it, but you catch something of everybody's in there with something, right? And that's just during the regular flu outbreaks. Now we got this China virus stuff, man, that's like that on steroids. You don't want to be in a hospital. I don't want my kids to be in a hospital. That's where everybody goes to get sicker. Here's guidance on what to strive to have in place. So let me go back a little bit. So you may want to prepare to self-treat for any non-life-threatening condition. This is when you want to know a hospital corpsman from the United States Navy, right? Hello, Doc, corpsman up. This includes setting up a sick room. Should anyone in your family contract the virus, keep in mind that 80% of cases are relatively mild. Be prepared to turn one of your spare bedrooms into a sick room where only people that are infected can go in there and take care of whoever's in there. I'm just saying, you don't have to, but these are just decent ideas. Here's guidance on what to strive to have in place. Flu respiratory home treatment guidance from an ER doctor. All of these are linked in the article on the blog, okay? The next one is the Internet Book of Critical Care, COVID-19, China virus, the Internet Book of Critical Care. It's linked right there, guys. Go down there and click on that thing. Peak Prosperity's Medicinals, mega thread, CDC guide for creating a sick room, and where there is no doctor. That's a link to a resource. It's called Where There Is No Doctor. I have all these linked in the article on my blog at simplefreedom.com. Now let's go on. Backup and emergency readiness. The odds of losing access to basic utilities while in lockdown is low, but it's not inconceivable. If the virus were to spread fast enough, there simply may not be enough workers who are well enough to keep critical services running. Also, a natural disaster. They just had an earthquake in Utah, guys. Also, a natural disaster could occur that disrupts power and water. For example, oh, he covers it right here. A 5.7 magnitude earthquake stuck Salt Lake City just this morning. That's when this was originally written. Yeah, very true. If you're well stocked, on the items above and have the capacity to plan for this, here's our guidance. And we link over to Peak Prosperity's Emergency Preparation Guide. It's all there for you guys. You just gotta click, print them out, store them, have them handy. All right, let's continue. Staying physically healthy. Man, this is the one that's affecting my mental, my mental acuteness right now, right? I, I got a routine. Uh, I got accustomed to a routine about a year and a half to two years ago where the gym is my church. The, the gym is my meditation. The gym is freaking everything for me right now. And they closed my gym. So now, you know, I'm, I'm right here, man, trying to create a new routine. Staying physically healthy. All right. If you've got all the above in place, then home lockdown becomes a matter of what do I do with all this time? <laughs> right? Create content, guys. Call your leads, prospect, follow up, 
follow through, keep stuff simple, automate, leverage. But that simple Freedom Club stuff, let's stay on point. Staying physically healthy. We're going to start with staying physically fit as that's the primary goal here to keep as many folks out of the hospital system as possible. Step number one is not push-ups. It's not pull-ups. It's not squats. Step number one is hygiene. This is your first and best line of defense against virus particles. First, don't get them on you. Second, don't get them in you, <laughs> okay? So social distancing, let's cover this real quick. Wash your hands often with soap or sanitizer or vodka. I'm just kidding about the vodka. That's a waste of vodka, man. Don't touch your face, mouth, nose, or eyes. Just try not to do it, guys. Shower daily. Oh my God, please. Wash your clothes often. Don't let them sit on a basket for days and days and days breeding those germs and viruses in there, guys. Wash your clothes often. Basic advice, but it's important because it works. And there's a link to the uh, World Health Organization's COVID-19 China virus recommended hygiene behavior for the public. Click on that link. Now let's talk about exercise and physical activity. Lordy, 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 man, my church. Physically, physical activity is the miracle pill. If we could bottle its benefits, every doctor would prescribe it. You now have time in your day for exercise. Make it part of your routine. It'll keep you healthy, boost your immune system, improve your outlook, endorphins, guys, endorphins, and you'll enjoy it, especially if you do it as playful activity. Go for a solo walk or run. I ain't running no more, man, my back, my knees, but I can walk. Go for a solo walk or run. Or, and if you have a yard, play with your family. Frisbee, wiffle ball, tag, whatever the hell gets you moving, man. And for those with less space, YouTube is full of home exercise routine videos. Oh man, hold on, time out. I should have linked to the YouTube channel for uh, Cavalier, Jeff Cavalier's channel, Athelene X, Athelene X. Later on, after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna come back to this uh, blog post and I'm gonna put a big fat video of Jeff Cavalier, Athelene X, and link over with that big ass button over to his YouTube channel. That guy's great. Great. Jeff Cavalier over at athelinex.com and look for Athelene X YouTube channel. Subscribe, click the little bell, get all his videos. He's really, really good at explaining stuff and showing you really cool stuff you can do at zero cost at home with no equipment, as well as when the gyms open up, then we, you know, he, he teaches that stuff too. And now, now this is right, right here. And now many gyms such as Planet Fitness, 24 hour fit, and my little gym, you know, here, yoga studios are posting a daily free home workout on their websites during the coronavirus lockdown. Go check out different stuff, but I'm telling you, man, if you follow me and you like the Simple Freedom Club kind of aura or energy, you're going to love AthelineX.com. Don't even mess around. Just go there. Jeff Cavalier. He's a good guy. I don't even know the guy, but he's good. Sleep. Sleep is critical to a well-functioning immune system, and yet so many of us have terrible sleep hygiene. Yep. I can barely sleep, guys. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. Put the screens away at least an hour before bed. That means any screen, TV, laptop, smartphone. Get a full eight hours of sleep. You have the time now. You're under house arrest. You're not commuting or having to take the kids to school. <laughs> so true, right? Don't eat close to bedtime. Drink water. Take your ass to bed, right? Don't eat close to bedtime. And there's a link right here, sleepfoundation.org's sleep hygiene guide. Next, the sun, el sol, the sun. Often overlooked exposure to sunlight. It's been cloudy ever since this thing shit hit the fan here. I, I love the sun, but well, it looks, it looks sunny today. All right, so we'll get out there and get some sun. The sun, often overlooked exposure to sunlight is very important to our immune system, our overall health, and our emotional state. It's estimated that more than 40% of American adults are vitamin D deficient. Over the past two months, we've seen numerous medical studies like this one, and I'm linking to all this stuff in the article here on the blog, indicating that the vitamin D helps prevent the kind of acute respiratory tract infections that China virus victims are dying of. Sunlight is our best source 
of vitamin D. Be sure to get at least 15 to 30 minutes of midday sun exposure at least three times per week. During the Spanish flu pandemic of 1918 and 1919, doctors found, and I'm linking to whatever that article is, that patients treated outdoors in the sunlight and fresh air recovered more quickly than those treated only indoors. If it helped then, it may indeed help now. Now let's talk about supplements. Other key vitamins, so we talked about vitamin D. Vitamin D3 is what I have here. Other key vitamins, especially vitamin C, vitamin A, are also being found to help your body's defenses against China virus and other types of diseases too. There's a wide range of immune system boosting supplements and herbs, many of them natural, that you can take to increase your odds of remaining uninfected or recovering more quickly. And I'm linking to this right there, Peak Prosperity's Supplements Mega Thread. I've also been following naturalnews.com, Mike Adams over there, great guy. Peak Prosperity Supplements Mega Thread is right there. Staying emotionally healthy. As I've written about previously, and that is direct linked right there in the article, when it comes to preserving, persevering, when it comes to persevering through adversity, success is much more dependent on mental fortitude than physical. You need to have a clear picture of the payoff that'll come from the sacrifice and suffering. In popular cultural parlance, this is referred to as understanding your why. We do a lot of this in the make money from home home business industry, right? The arena, understanding your why. What is your why? What's your purpose? Stay on, stay on purpose, stay on your why, right? Understanding your why. That's why the recommendations here began with emphasizing the huge importance that flattening the curve has to your family's welfare and that of your country and the global community at large. Once you really get it, it makes the hardships of home lockdown, house arrest, a lot more tolerable. First, have the talk. Now, I don't know what he's talking about here. Let's break this down. First, have the talk. And while you may now get it, members of your family may not, especially the young and somewhat surprisingly, the old. Kids and young adults, being who they are, tend to discount risk and ignore consequences. The popular perception that China virus is an old folks disease only makes them worry even less. Most of them get cabin fever quickly. Yup and just want to go out and hang with their friends. A surprising number of seniors are equally hard to influence to take the coronavirus seriously, especially if they're grandparents. These folks tend to be set in their ways, right? Hey, come over for ribs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come over. Come over my house. Get these germs. These folks tend to be set in their ways. They've survived a lot of other scares over the decades, so why should this one be any different, right? And are damned if they're going to be deprived of seeing their grandkids. But when it comes to keeping your house virus free, your defense is only as good as its weakest link. If your kids are socializing, they risk bringing China virus back into the house when they return. The same is true when grandma insists on going to her bridge group. You'll be bridge group, whatever bridge group. What grandma still going to a bridge group? These grandmas are going to the nightclubs. <laughs> what the hell? Get the hell out of here with the bridge group. And they're twerking and dropping it like it's J-Lo hot. You will be fighting a losing battle and likely getting angry and resentful in the process if you hold yourself to a different safety standard than the others living in or visiting your home. Which is why you need to sit everyone who is or will be in your home over the lockdown and have the talk. The goal is to guide everyone to mutual understanding and agreement. Do we all agree it's important to avoid infection? What level of safety standards will everyone embrace? A particular good example of how to have this talk with older parents is presented here. And I link over to that, man. I ain't having, you know what? Good luck. Good luck with that. Besides educating them on the scary stats of just how damaging and deadly this virus is on the elderly, one successful strategy is helping them see your concerns for their safety as acts of love versus needless nagging. Oh, is that what it is? Needless nagging. No, no, no acts of love <laughs> who wrote this with teens it's a challenge but these three tactics are helpful let me give you one tactic we called it the chunkla just smack them in the head tell them to calm down now let's see what the smart people say connect their risk to their at-risk relatives 
Yes, if you get infected, you'll likely be better in a matter of days, but do you realize that if grandma or grandpa catch it from you, they could die? Number two, dispel the myth that all youth don't have to worry. There's growing evidence, and I'm linking that to whatever, wherever that goes, there's growing evidence that a larger percent of youth than previously assumed get serious complications from China virus. This can result in long-term decrease in lung capacity for those who recover. And recover in quotes, you're not recovering. It, this shit's hitting you two, three times. And it's causing nervous system problems as well. And they don't know how long-term the lung damage is going to be in your respiratory system. So you got to be careful with that. While not confirmed by the data yet, because it's all just breaking out right now on the street, youth who vape may be at higher risk of permanent lung damage from coronavirus. And the third thing, set a red line with older teens and adult children. That's an oxymoron, man. If you have an adult children, you need to kick them out. Send them to the military. Send them to get their own job somewhere. Send them to a studio apartment with roommates, or with six roommates. I don't care. If you have adult children, that may be a you problem, not a they problem. I know it's a society problem, but come on, man. Adult children. Set a red line with them. Hey, if you're intent on going out and socializing, that's your call, but you can't live here at home if you do. <laughs> oh, they're gonna shame you right back. Oh, you don't love me. You wanna throw me out in the middle of the China virus? Oh, no, well, you wanna go to the nightclub and shake your ass? Go get somebody to pay your rent. Home needs to be safe. For example, for those with college students, it may be preferable for all involved to send your child back to campus? If the dorms are open, I don't know about all that. Let them ride out the lockdown there. Oh man, this dude doesn't doesn't care about his children. Yeah, that's good. Hey, whatever, man. If they have a bad attitude, if they get sick, chances are high they won't need hospitalization. Flip that coin. They'll be happy being around their friends, <laughs> and you'll be relieved not having to worry about them breaching your virus barriers on a daily basis. Damn, <laughs> this person is savage. Once you've had the talk, everyone then understands why the house rules are the way they are. Everyone may not necessarily agree with them, but this shared understanding greatly increases your odds. They'll be followed and respected or pack your shit and get out, right? Keep the four horsemen at bay. When living in prolonged close proximity with others, life gets hard and fast. Life comes at you fast, man, if your relationships aren't harmonious. John Gottman, renowned therapist of Blink, and I'm linking over to that site, Blink, whatever that is, fame, has been able to prove that relationship harmony is at greatest danger from allowing any one of the following toxic behaviors to fester. Oh, this should be interesting. Criticism, defensiveness, stonewalling, and contempt. <laughs> you stop that shit. To understand what each of these are and to see examples in practice so you can be aware of how to avoid letting these creep into your own behavior, click here to read Dealing with Disagreement in Relationships. Hmm, interesting. I always wonder, the authors of those kinds of books are, you know, most of the time, it's, I'm just, it's funny. Most of the time, they're like four divorces. They got three kids from different parents. That they're, they're, They've been quote unquote single, meaning someone kicked them to the curb like 15 years ago. It, you know, and they're writing these life coaching and how to deal with disagreement in relationships. Well, your ass got the boot. How are you doing? Right, so I don't know about that, but anyway, there's the link, go, go see it, right? Look, you put people in prolonged confinement under stressful conditions, and you're gonna have disagreements arise. It's only natural. So rather than letting that distract and divide you when it happens, prepare in advance and learn how to conduct the necessary repair work when conflict inevitably, inevitably blah, 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 does occur, i.e., Take it easy during house arrest. Don't get your ass killed. <laughs> Don't get your ass killed. Our Gottman-based premium report, How to Manage Conflict and Build Relationships That Last, from a four-time divorced woman that's writing it, or dude, you know, whatever. Yeah, these things are always funny, man. Take it with a grain of salt. 
But anyway, I link over to their guide, How to Manage Conflict and Build Relationships That Last, even though nobody has one. Walks you through the mechanics of how to build up sufficient relationship capital to weather most disagreements and how to successfully repair and rebuild it when really big disagreements arise. Right. <laughs> Good luck with that one. This report is one of the most... Let's beat this virus first, shall we? Shall we focus on the damn virus? This report is one of the most valuable resources we have to offer folks living together in lockdown. It's worth every penny of the $30 to subscribe. I don't know. You guys make the decision on that, guys. If you need it, get it. If not, just buy, you know, a couple of new sets of boxing gloves and duke it out. Embrace purpose and meaning. Take a moment to appreciate that we're living through history right now. For good or ill, this is a momentous time, one that may forever change our way of life. I 100% agree with that statement. This is something that's going to forever change some aspect of our life. Our routines have been broken. That, that frees us, that frees us to focus on areas we previously felt our busy lives had no time for. Hmm. Sure, binge watch that Netflix series you've been craving, but beyond that, use this unasked for gift of time to explore ways to give your life more meaning. Practice mindfulness. Being present in the moment, grateful for the blessings you do have, and more aware of the things in your life you'd like to change. Practice mindfulness. And I'm linking over to these things too, so you guys catch it at simplefreedom.com. You can catch these links and go check out those resources. Visualize. I'm a big fan of visualization. I sure am. Once things get back to normal, whatever that's going to look like, guys, what improvements would you like to see in your life? Research shows that clarifying our goals makes it much more likely we'll actually achieve them. If you don't have them, <coughs> you're going you're gonna to be accomplishing some kind of goals. If they're not yours, they'll be somebody else's. If you don't have your own purpose, your own goal set, guys, you're going to be pushed and pulled by the wind and you're going to do some shit that you don't want to do. Okay, You're going to accomplish somebody's goals. Were they really yours? right? Or did you just not have your shit together and get this part of it done? So this is very, very important. Research shows that clarifying our goals makes it much more likely we'll actually achieve them. And with the extra time you have on lockdown, you may be able to use some of it to make strides towards the new you. I love that shit. Everybody wants this new you. You know what? Just fix the old you, man. Sometimes you lose a lot of the old you and that shit is worse. So I don't know about this new you shit, but you know, do whatever works, man. Don't lose yourself in that crap, though. Journal, right? Journal. So practice mindfulness, visualize, and the third one, journal. As mentioned, we're living through history. Capture your experience and observations. Research shows that naming our emotions and acknowledging traumatic events has a positive impact on the psyche. Also, your great-grandchildren will be fascinated if they ever discover it. Constructive activity is the next segment here. Idle hands are the devil's tools. Guys, stay busy, stay busy. Just like with goals, if you don't stay busy for yourself, you're always going to be busy, but you'll probably be getting busy for somebody else's goals, right? So if you don't keep yourself busy, someone or something else will keep you busy and a lot of times, the devil's tools, okay? So keep your household busy, create a routine, have dedicated times of the day when it's expected that each resident will be occupied in constructive activity, whatever that is for your family. For adults, that may be actual work or bill paying or home projects. For kids, it can be homeschooling, online learning for school or just personal development, household chores or brain developing play. Free time and alone time, equally as important, is allowing each family member to find a little solitude in their day. Whether it's to use the time to process their feelings, read a book, zombie out on Snapchat. God, don't do that shit. Why did I even read that? Don't zombie out on Snapchat. Fuck Snapchat. Oh my God. Or just get a break from the folks they're stuck inside with for God knows how long. Unstructured time alone 
is a huge catalyst for comfort and happiness. And I am linking over to, uh, to that link right there that they provide. If things get really tough, dot, 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 right? Let's break this down. Households have, have their stresses under the best of times. Living in open-ended confinement during one of the history's greatest health crises, <laughs> about that man just get the stats on the regular flu is enough to break the tightest of family bonds if conflict arises that you simply can't diffuse and it endangers the mental or physical health of anyone in your household reach out to the experts oh yeah they're gonna pump you full of anxiety medications if you do that no nah, man keep it in house just calm down just calm take a deep breath calm down in today's age oh god no I don't you know what I'm gonna be straight up with you guys here I don't agree with this shit in today's age, most therapists have the ability to see clients online. You know what most therapists are too? They're miserable people with failed relationships. That's what most therapists are. Most of, many of them are narcissistic idiots on social media. So I don't know about all that. Go inside, man. Gut check time. Gut check and keep it real. Check with your employer. An increasing number of companies now offer a free therapy out. This is more, this is snowflaking shit. So I do not recommend or endorse this section. I'm just being honest. I may be wrong, but who cares? Staying financially solvent. Perhaps second only to dying or losing a family member to China virus is the fear of losing your income and savings due to it. Too many people already are. Listen, Simple Freedom Club. It's time to simplify even more, automate even more, leverage. Join us, get involved with our club because you get most of the money. We teach you skill sets that prepare you and equip you to create your own work so you don't have to beg anybody for it. And if you create your own work, that creates your own cash flow. Become cash flow independent. Simplify, automate, leverage. Simple Freedom Club club get back to a simple freedom club affiliate join for free upgrade become a paid member and plug into our training and take action now let's check out their idea that's the easiest way but now let's check out their idea it's probably going to be more complicated losing your income as of this writing which was march 18th 2020 18 percent of u.s households have already reported someone being laid off or having their hours reduced because of the China virus outbreak. And the link is here to the Economic Policy Institute estimates that at least 3 million jobs will be lost by summer. And this is just the start. U.S. Treasury Secretary and member of the President's Coronavirus Task Force, Steven Mnuchin, predicts, and that's linked, that the nation's unemployment rate will jump from 3% to 20% as a result of the economic damage resulting from China virus. If you're among those who has already lost their job and are concerned that you may soon be ca um, a casualty of layoffs by your employer, read our premium report. This is over at Peak Prosperity site, the Layoff Survival Handbook. You know what? Let me save you some time. Go to Simple Freedom Club. All right, go to Simple Freedom Club and read our handbook, the book, the Simple Freedom book. You can get it on Kindle, and Amazon. Read that and join the club even for free. And then, yeah, go get whatever layoff survival handbook you think you need. It provides detailed advice on the specific steps to take before and after losing your job. What about you replacing your job during this house arrest confinement? You can do it, man. We're up and running. When we issued this report last year, yada, yada, I'm not going to do a, a whole promotion on, the, on, their, on their book there, but losing your savings. One of the crueler aspects of this China virus outbreak is that, as happens with exponential events, it has gotten far worse faster than most people could imagine, and faster than they can mentally adjust to. Just as folks were starting to wrap their brains around the idea that China virus was not just the flu, suddenly all the schools are canceled, non-essential businesses are forced to close my gym and everyone's being placed on lockdown, house arrest, yep. And if that wasn't head spinning enough, that's surreal, guys. If that wasn't head spinning enough, the markets have been in unprecedented free fall. It's now official. This is the fastest stock market drop of this magnitude in history. So folks are being hit with the one-two gut punch of losing their way of life and 
losing 30% or more of their hard-earned savings at the same damn time. Is it over yet? Or is it going to fall much more? Our questions we're hearing daily from panicked investors, many of whom are contacting us from home where they have nothing but time to watch their portfolios bleed out further with each daily drop. The markets closed limit down again today. While no one has a crystal ball, we at peakprosperity.com have been warning for years about the risk of such a market breakdown. Which they sure have. From our perspective, while there will likely be some relief rallies in the coming days and weeks, we think the structure of the market, as well as the vigor of the global economy, is being permanently impaired. Meaning, we won't be returning to Kansas anytime soon, Toto. Right? We won't be returning to the way it was before. And that lower prices are highly likely over the rest of the year for reasons well articulated in our recent interviews with renowned investors John Hussman and Steen Jacobson, which can be viewed here, and that's a direct link in the post there, you can get it. The good news is that there's still time to reposition your portfolio for greater safety, even and especially if you're one of those whose savings has taken a beating this month. Hmm done with the pre-workout drink. We discussed the many reasons why taking corrective action now is so important in this short video link with the lead partners of New Harbor Financial, the financial advisor endorsed by peakprosperity.com who have managed to protect their clients' accounts from virtually all of the market's recent 33, more than 33% drop. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Watch the video, then talk with a professional financial advisor who understands the reason. Most, most people are, are being affected by cash flow, okay? limited cash flow. So let's teach you first how to generate your own cash flow by creating your own work. And then with the surplus cash flow, then go there. Okay, Because if you don't have cash flow, what are you going to do? What are you, you going to do in the stock market right now? It's going to be volatile. Uh, for, for quite some time. But if you're having trouble finding a good one, consider blah, 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 free consultation. That's where they're selling. Now you can go read that yourself. Information without action is useless, guys, as we often emphasize here at peakprosperity.com and at simplefreedom.com. Information without action is useless. This guide is only valuable if you put its recommendations to work. So print it out and circle at least three actions you commit to taking in the next 24 hours. Once you've put those into motion, circle three new ones and rinse and repeat. And be sure to share this with the folks going through lockdown with you. It'll help getting you all on the same page. Plus, they may have other good ideas to add to the thinking here. To that point, this lockdown survival guide is intended to be a living document. As we have additional helpful recommendations, we'll add them above. So if you have any good candidates, please share them in the comments section below. Good luck persevering through the coming weeks. These are unprecedented and historic times, and we're going through them together, even if we're doing so squirreled away in our own little jail cells at home. Use this website to keep connected to the greater world and the wonderfully smart and supportive global community that is peakprosperity.com. Follow Chris's daily video updates. There's a link to that on our YouTube channel. Go ahead, go subscribe to them too over there, guys. Really good stuff to keep informed of the latest COVID-19 China virus developments. And lean on the tribe here should you ever need moral support in these trying times. Hang in there. This too shall pass. And stay safe. And that was by Adam Taggart of peakprosperity.com. I link to them right here, guys, so you can click here to read the original article at the Peak Prosperity site. Com. A quick reminder, and I link over with the big, gold, yellow, obnoxious button that you need to punch in the face about our new live Tuesday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Time, Simple Freedom Club Overview webinar. You can find that Every single one of our affiliates has access to their own page then. So do you if you become a member. So get back to whoever put you on to Simple Freedom Club. Get the link to the Tuesday night Simple Freedom Club overview webinar. For those of you that do have it on your own page, that thing runs 24-7. 
It's 24-7. We do an overview of Simple Freedom Club as a uh, cash flow program for you and affiliate marketing school. We teach you the skill set, the mindset, and give you the tools to share a simple invitation that invites people to free training on how to create their own cash flow from their own work from home. Okay, very legit in these times. So by doing that, they come on, you invite other people to that with our marketing training, take action on our plans, our images, and our, our uh, messages, share them out there, attract new people, and you get paid. You can very quickly build a part-time, even a full-time cash flow doing that from home, and they have not shut any of that stuff down yet while all the other businesses are shut down. If you want, you can also watch it right on the YouTube channel here, Tuesdays. Thursdays, we do a live Thursday night Simple Freedom Club Nuts and Bolts Getting Started training over, uh, webinar, and that's on Thursday night, and of course, they play recorded here on the channel at simplefreedom.info, so punch that button, create your free Simple Freedom Club account, welcome to the club, let's help you start learning how to make your own cash flow from home. That's it for this one, guys, I wanted to give you an audio video representation to go with this blog, I'm going to get this video recording and I'm gonna put it right here at the top of this post. Share it, copy it, clone it, whatever you need to do with it, and help people out during this home lockdown. Uh, crazy, crazy China virus times, guys. House arrest, lockdown survival guide. I'll see you guys inside the club, Simple Freedom Club. Uh, main site, simplefreedom.com. See you guys on the next one. Bye for now.